Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth from Martial Art Fitness. If you are new to this channel, I'm known as Seth McDonald Four, as my old name, onto my YouTube channel. Um, no, my Instagram is Seth McDonald Four, all small letters and the number four. Um, if you want to get a hold of me on there for for training purposes, you know, if you want to get fit, if you want to, you know, get into shape, you know, whatever, um, you can always contact me, you know. I don't really set people up with diet plans, um, but if you just want to train and get strong, to get fit, to get healthier, um, my channel is the channel because me, you know, I don't really diet. You know, they say, oh, dieting is like the number one thing for building muscles. You know, yeah, that might be true, but in the long run, is it true or not? I have tried so many diets out there, every diet does not work. I've tried it for so many years, and then it just would not work. And that's the thing, you know. Me, my point of it is, is that, you know, no matter what you eat, this is how I look at it. Let's say if you end up eating something that has 200 calories in a meal. Let's say a hamburger, maybe some french fries. A little bit of french fries that, let's say, McDonald's or... Um, or something at your own cooking at your own home. Um, basically, you know, if you just eat a little bit of fries and maybe a little bit of a burger, you ain't really gonna get fat. Now, it's just on how you consume the food. Keep consuming McDonald's every day, yeah, you don't get obese, you don't get heavy, you don't end up, um, Gaining the weight from the grease and stuff like that. But as like I said, I hate it when people say, oh, it's the nutrition that you eat. It's the foods that you eat that makes your gut stick out. Well, no, not really. It's just, it's just on how people are built. It ain't because they have an eating disorder. It ain't because um, they, you know, they can't manage their weight or whatever. My reasons why I can't have, hold a six pack, even though I have one, I have a six pack. It's just I have nowhere to hold it, hold it, because I have no lower ribs to hold it in. And I do have a six pack because everybody says I am skinny. It's just that uh, I do have a six pack, but it's just that uh, since I have no lower ribs, my gut hangs out a little bit. But they do see the muscle in my gut. So I'm not I'm not joking. You know, I eat anything, everything. I'm not a picky eater. I've tried all the diets. Um, you know what I'm saying? I tried keto diet, I tried eat just eat seafood diets, um, I tried just eat chicken diet, uh, even get eat just eating greens. Um, I went, I went all out during competition. I was not seeing the results like uh, most people would see on, let's say, TV and the movies, um, and the comics. You know, people say to eat healthy because you know, yeah, eating healthy is a plus side. Now that's. That's a big plus if you're eating healthy. But if you are working now, staying consistent in your training, it doesn't matter what you eat. As long as you just don't consume it all the time. Um, that's what I always tell people at, at my job. You know, they always ask me, Hey Seth, what do you do for your training? What do you do, you know, to get fit? Um... I mean, I drink everything, I eat everything, 
um, best thing to do is not consume it so much. Um, let's say it'd be junk food or something like that. You know, if you eat a lot of junk food, well, quit eating a lot of junk food, quit consuming it so much, you can try to make more better ch choices on what you eat. Like tonight, like today, I want, I'm on at my lunch. Like today at my lunch and everything, sorry about that. I was trying to figure out what was that up there. Um, but it's like I said, you know, like today at my lunch, I was a little tired. I needed an energy. And so I broke down and bought me a baby Ruth chocolate candy bar. Do I consume chocolates all the time? No, I don't. But I was in a mood for something sweet and chocolate. And I was just craving some chocolate. And do I consume chocolate all the time? No, I don't. But it's on how what you eat that makes you, uh, it's on how much you consume and what makes you fat. You know, most people say, oh, it's the eating. Um, when people say they're fat, which everybody says I'm fat, but really technically I'm not. And I said I might be average, whatever, but because of the gut, or because it don't, because I can't have nowhere to hold it in all in. Um, that's about the only thing that is wrong with me. It's just that I just don't have nothing to hold that gut in. Everybody says, I am fit. I do have the chest. I do have the shoulders. I do have the arms. I, I mean, I might not really have the legs, but um, I do have the upper body. So, what we're going to do today, enough about me, enough about what to eat. Um, just don't consume much of it. Don't consume much of it. That's all I'm saying. But what I'm gonna do today is three exercises back to back on using no no equipment. No equipment. Get this. No equipment. We're gonna use the bench, the weight bench. We're gonna do some dips. We're going to do five sets back to back with three exercises. We're going to do the dips. We're going to go into squats. I might even do um, add some lunges in there along with the squats and and usually, if you want to add an extra exercise into it, um, you can do planks, you know, if you want to work a core or something like that, or mountain climbers. Um, usually, most people would add a fourth exercise in. But today, I'm trying to make it, this video short and sweet and simple and show you what I'm doing. We're going to be doing 20 reps of three exercises, five sets of 20, 100 reps. Um, I had a shitty day. Um, I, I just found out that my grandma had a stroke today. Um, good news, it was just a small stroke. Um, it wasn't nothing serious. Um, that bad of seriousness. Um, she gets to come home tomorrow. Um, but right now, I'm in my grandparents' basement. And I'm going to show you this video right now. And I hope you all enjoy this video. I hope you like the atmosphere that I create and like I said always count your blessings no matter what you do in life because you never know so like I said you never know when your last moment is so always count your blessings every day and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing in my videos 
on my video today and then I'm going to start off with dips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. And the reason why I'm doing this five sets today is because I am hurting a little bit. I am my arthritis is acting up, so I'm just doing a light workout tonight. That's how I do lunges. Um, <laughs> ever since I injured this knee a long time, I haven't really been able to do correct the lunges. But that's how I do lunges. I don't care what anybody says. And it's one rep. Somebody told me when I was doing these lunges, and um, a buddy of mine called him because what what it look what it looked like was Capriella in a way, but it's not. It was just um, it can it is a form of the exercises from. Capriola that I took the tip from, but I ended up bringing the lunges into it. Alright, I'm going to do some dips. Now it's the second set, this is the third set. That was the third. We're on the fourth.
minus 4. I'm telling you, this will get this tricep area all big, your legs all big. Um, it get the lunges will get your um, the front hips all big, um, swole and everything. Keep doing them constantly. And I'll do 100 reps, work your way up. Um, like I said, tonight I'm just kind of doing a light workout. This is like the fourth rep we're on. But yeah, since I'm hurting a little bit, since I'm hurting a little bit, when I'm hurting a little bit, I don't really do a whole lot, but I still stay active. That is the most um, important thing because I don't really want to lose my gains because due do the pain. So, um, when I'm hurting the shoulder a little bit, um, my tendency to try to order in the foot. Um, I try to do a light workout and not really strain it that much. Um, there are times when I do go hard and I don't know why I go hard all the time, every night. Um, but I sometimes I do it on my own, on my own time. Sometimes I do it for you guys on camera. And stuff like that. You guys motivate me to and do more workout videos. Even though you guys leave little, sometimes leave little comments, but you know they're just comments. You know they ain't gonna hurt my feelings or anything like that. So I don't care what you leave a comment. But um, anymore, um, because if it's a real one, I'm not gonna um, reply back. But um, if it's not a rude one, then I'll reply back. So um, I don't care about form. I don't care about execution of the technique, of uh, the exercise. Um, I'm not into that. Me, it's just getting into their being, being active, being fit, motivating to work out, stay in shape, doing whatever. This is how I do it. I don't do it like how you guys do it. You know, everybody is different on how they work out. And there is no room to judge anybody on how everyone works out. And the ones that leave a comment, they probably haven't worked out in their entire life. And if they haven't, maybe it's time for you guys to end up making a workout video or do a workout and, and send it to me. Send your video to me of you working out. And I'll give you a thumbs up and I'll tell you stay motivated with it. You know, at it. You know, staying active is number one priority to health and to live longer, to um, feel better about yourself. And that's the thing, what I like about working out. It don't, you don't need a gym like this, like how I have. You know, yeah, if you have a gym like this, how I have, yeah, it's beneficial to have all this equipment, the weights, great citizen band, the weights to do shadow boxing on, the weight, the punching bag, the hit on, the mock jong, um, the wooden dummy, as most people don't know what a mock jong is, it's the wooden dummy. Um, I got my weight bench. Got that off of Craigslist for like 60 bucks. Um, they had all this other stuff like the exercise bike to the treadmill. They had all that before I even came down here. So, um, and I have that red bag. Um, that was my old punching bag, but it's broke. Um, so I just use it for gram and pound. And that was my first punching bag. So, you don't need all this equipment just to do body weight exercise. You know, all this other extra equipment is good to have if you want to stay fit. If you're trying to be a bodybuilder or be athletic in a sport, yes, it's good to have all this extra material and training equipment and stuff like that. So, I'm going to do this last word for you all. Get motivated. Stay fit. Stay strong. Like I said, you know, I do have rods in my back. I do have club feet. 
And do I let that bother me when I'm working out? No. I train. And if y'all can't accept on how I am, well, too bad. That's your guys' loss, not mine. I'm gaining more by doing what I do in my workouts than making me feel better about myself. So, there you have it. I'm going to do this last rep. Like I said, we're only doing five. This is the last one. If you finish through this, if you finish through this flash rip, I pat you on the back for you, even though I'm not there to pat you on the back in person. Five sets, three exercises back to back. Um, the reason why I do the small sets, small supersets, um, you build muscle that way quicker. Um, plus, it's a good workout. Plus, you get a good sweat on. I'm sweating a little bit as you can see right now. I might even do another five in this call good for a workout, but. I want to, I'm not going to do it on camera, but, you know, it's always good to stay motivated for working out, stay motivated, stay fit, stay healthy, which I eat every, <laughs> everything that I can. I don't really have a diet. Most people say, oh, you got to have a diet when you're working out. I really don't have a diet. I eat whatever I want to eat. I just don't consume it all the time. So... There you have it, seven times four, or I should say, Seth Martial Art Fitness now. Yeah, Seth Martial Art Fitness. And, like I said, just do these, like, if you can, if you want to get the, uh, the arms big, um, I would do them like three times a week. And then, if you know, if you want to do other exercises, like, Body weight exercises, you know, do push ups, planks, um, the other two, one, the one. Usually I do ab work like two times a week, so there you have it. Um, um, usually I do a lot, mostly weightlifting, but since I'm kind of hurting tonight, I'm kind of doing a light workout. I call it body weight a light workout because it's not really strenuous. Not really do anything to hurt yourself. Um, you're not really doing anything to hurt yourself, and um, just train hard, train smart, do your research. Like I always said in my old videos, do your research and do what works for you. Who cares what anybody says, what you, how you do it, it's how you do it, it's what works. You know, if you, people say do a full range of motion or push up, who cares about the full range? You can't, there's some people that can't go down all the way. So, um, and there are some people that can on, on push ups. It don't matter how you do the push-ups, you know, whatever works for you, works for you. It doesn't matter if you're doing full form, full range of motion, or not. Um, so, there you have it. 
three workouts, doing dips, squats, whatever you want to call it on the lunges on what I did. Um, they may be Capriola lunges or they may be um, regular lunges, but um, just train hard, train smart, do your research, stay fit, stay motivated, and keep going. Have the heart, have the eye of a tiger, as Rocky would say, or Apollo Creed would say to Rocky and Rocky Three against Clover Lane when he was doing his training. You got to have the eye of a tiger. You got to have that hungry look when you are training to get strong. So you got to have the heart, you got to have the eye of the tiger, and you got to be a beast when we're working out. So there you have it. Please hit the like, subscribe, hit the bell, hit all the bell. You'll get every one of my videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.